Okay, so here as promised is your um, instructional video just to show you how to use the uh, Miro online system. So you will begin by uh, receiving an email from us or from the machine at least. Um, and it's this one here, uh, Miro account information. So we're just going to open that email and inside we discover um, a link to the Capita Miro site, a username and a password. So I'm just going to copy that username. Uh, making certain I don't include any extra characters or spaces because that can confuse the uh, machine and I'm going to follow the link. So here we are. I'm just going to paste that username into here. Um, and same again with the password, making certain that I don't include any extra characters or spaces. Um, already use this so I'll make certain I cover all of those. Okay and log in. So that will take me to a basic welcome screen and the first thing I'm going to do is just have a look at this um, down the menu here I have my Pro Myra projects, Myra team graph, team report, um, edit my profile, help and my account. Well most of those are fairly self-explanatory. Uh, there are videos available um, through the Myro uh, hyphen assessment.com website um, which will show you how to use the team graph and the team report and so on. Um, for now I'm just going to have a look at edit my profile. Um, well everything in there seems to be okay and for some reason they've put this in block capital so I'll just put that in lower case because that's actually what's going to appear on my um, uh, on the reports that I send out. Um, I should also change the password to something of my own choosing. Um, I won't do that right now. Um, but when you do that, once again, make certain that you've deleted everything in those fields um, and uh, input your new password there. So I'm going to save my new information. And the first thing I want to do is set up a project. So I'm going to add project. And the first thing I'm prompted for is a project title. Well, this is... Um, the widget factory that I'm working with so it's just the widget factory um, I have a space here as well which is a required field for a purchase order number or um, a capita cost code whatever it might be um, in this case not applicable the next field is just for my project notes this is really just for my own benefit so anything that I need to know about this project that I need to record so I just know that I do need uh, to, my main contact here is, is uh, Sandra and her phone number is a rather strange set of digits. So that's just so I've, I can uh, keep track of things for myself. This next field is a required field and this is for the email invites text or the invitation text. So this is the text that will appear in the email that you send out to your candidates. So this is really important that you put all the information that they need to know in this field. So who you are, why you're sending them the assessment, why you're asking them to take the assessment, when they're going to receive their report, what it's going to be used for, um, all those sorts of things, how they can contact you most importantly because you're going to be their main point, point of contact to explain um, how the system works should they need it. Um, so for the purposes of this I'm just going to um, some dummy text in there um, and the email invite subject line so this will appear in the subject line of the emails that you send out so okay and I'm going to save that so that's it I've set up my project now I can go away and it will still be there I can log out and log back in and the project will remain in my Miro projects um, but the first thing I want to do is add a new candidate. So the first candidate is Dave Smith. Um, now I could just send it to Dave Smith at thewidgetfactory.com um, but just to make certain that it's gone through um, because sometimes it can end up in people's spam boxes and so on because it comes from a machine. Um, just to be certain I'm going to send this one to myself. So Rob. at myro-assessment.com okay 
Now I'm just going to save that rather than send it straight away. Now normally what I would do is populate the entire uh, project, so put all the people in the project in, um, and then just to make certain I've got everything right, and then I can highlight all the boxes and click send email invite. And I see a little message here saying email to Dave Smith, OK, so the mail is sent. So I know that's gone now, um, and I can be 100% certain because it's actually gone to me. And here it is, waiting in my inbox. Okay, So that's Dave Smith's login details. Now, in this case, I'm going to forward that on off to Dave Smith. Uh, so Dave at uh, widgetsrs.com. And away that goes. Okay, so I know that's got, I'm 100% certain that's gone off to Dave now. And if widgets.com really does exist, then Dave has just got that email. Okay, so it's as simple as that. Um, and at the moment, the little status bar here says email sent. As soon as Dave has done his um, assessment, actually I'll receive an email saying Dave Smith's results are now available. And this will change um, from status email sent to... Um, by report. Now, when I click that button, that's the point at which I incur a charge. So I could do this all day long, as long as I don't actually click the buy report button, I don't spend anything. At that point, that's when I incur the charge. Um, and then a little PDF symbol will appear in the status bar and I can download that to my computer. Now I can keep them in on the website, um, but it's best to download it to your computer and store it somewhere safe. Uh, we do wipe information every year or so, so if you keep it there too long, um, you may lose it. Um, we do warn you before we do that, but like I say, much safer just to download it to your own computer and keep it there. Um, and I think for the time being, that's all you need to know. Uh, like I say, if you have a look at our website, you can also see instructional videos on how to create team maps, team graphs, and uh, most importantly, the uh, team report. Okay, I hope you found that helpful, but if you uh, need to know anything more, do give us a call. Okay.